Hello guys and welcome to my video. Happy spring and I hope you guys are doing very well today. I'm very excited because I just got my Pixie Pretties PR. If you follow me on Instagram or on Snapchat you would have seen my unboxing of the collaborations that they did with Chloe Morello, Dulce Candy, and um, Whaley here on YouTube. So the first one that I'm doing is Chloe Morello and she did this palette here which is the palette Cloet. I am also wearing her lip gloss that she came out with which is called Kate and I'm very excited to review this. I'm going to do one video for each collaboration, sort of a first impressions review try on kind of video. Um, I didn't think that it would be fair to group all of these collaborations into one video because they all spent so long on their individual collaborations. You might not buy you know every product that they came out with so I wanted to make sure that you could really see the palettes and see how they work. This is a multi-purpose palette so I tried to use it for as many things as I possibly could. So if you are interested in this video go ahead and keep watching and I'll get started. Alrighty, so I have my base done and ready. I am going to move on to my translucent powder that I'm gonna use under the eyes. I'm gonna use my Pixi Quick Fix Powder in Translucid. Next, I'm gonna move on and just give myself a quick little contour bronze, just make the face a little more chiseled. So I'm gonna go into my Pixi and Maria Maquillaje Bronzer and Glow Palette. Before I move on to blush, highlight, all of that, I'm gonna do the eyes and the brows. So for today's video, I'm gonna be using the Pixi and Chloe Morello palette, as you guys know. She was planning out her wedding when she was planning out this palette, and so a lot of the names are about you know the wedding bouquet promise romance all that kind of stuff she wanted it to be sort of like that glow from within from when you're happy and you're in love the way that i see this palette is as more of a natural palette maybe someone who doesn't like the fussiness of too many colors it's very neutral it has the blushes highlights that double as eyeshadow this little three piece here which she said you could use for your brows you could use to contour you can use as eyeshadow so she wanted it to be a very multi-purpose palette so that's how I'm gonna try to use it today I want to first start Ooh, that lighting I want to first start off doing the brows and here's my thing as you guys can see I have kind of full brows but using my dip brow I like to make them a little bit fuller and I also have this brow here which is a little crazy you know it just doesn't want to be tamed so I'm not sure powders are gonna work but I'm gonna give them a try I'm gonna use this little dark color here I'm not worried about this brow I'm worried about this brow so we'll see This color is really pigmented, actually. I didn't think it would work that well with my brows, but it's working pretty nice. All right, so I did a super quick brow, definitely more on the natural side. All right, so as far as using it for a brow product, it's actually not bad. They don't look super similar, but you know, brows are sisters, not twins. So I'm gonna set them with my e.l.f. brow gel. Alrighty, so that is the brows done. I'm next going to move on to my eye makeup look and I want to keep in theme with the palette. I want to do a very like romantic date night makeup look, something very simple and something very glassy, not too dramatic, especially since the colors are very natural. I think that these three shadows here, these matte ones, are perfect for making the look more dramatic. So I'm going to go in and use this taupe color as my transition shade just to give my eye some definition. So, so far those matte shades are definitely pigmented. I want to go in with the shimmer shades, try one out on my crease and see how it goes. This color right here looks like an eyeshadow that my mom loves to use. She always has those two colors in her makeup drawer. So I think I'm going to go in with those two and kind of build a look on that. So I'm going to use the darker color on my crease. Maybe mix in a little bit of this little brown here. And then use this gold shade, which should be Passion, 
on my lid. Those shades do look kind of pretty on the crease. They're very natural, especially with my skin tone. They're like a few shades darker than my skin tone, so they're like almost like a little contour in my lid. Moving on to the lid color, I'm going to use my Makeup Fixing Mist from Pixi. I'm gonna spray it on my brush just to make sure that I get the most amount of pigment as I can from the product. So as you guys can see, I applied it with a damp brush and this is what it looks like. On the other side, I'm gonna apply it with my finger and see how it looks like that. Looking at the two sides, I actually think that you get more pigment just using your finger than you do using a damp brush. All right, so I'm next gonna see if I can use this as eyeliner. So I'm gonna take the black shade on a Tightline Liner brush from Sigma. I've actually never done this before, so I might mess up. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you can see. I'm gonna try spritzing a little bit of the fixing mist onto my brush because that is what she did in the video that I saw. So let's try it out. I need to go back and fix this eye because my eyeliner is not the same, but I do like the way that it applied way better when it is wet with the fixing mist. It just makes it a lot darker and a lot easier to work with. What I will say, like that gold shade right now, it's kind of disappearing off of my eyes and I just applied it. All right, so I went for a really small smoked out wing on both sides. The only thing I'm worried about is how long this is really gonna last. I feel like the gold eyeshadow is already fading a little bit. So the black eyeshadow might fade over time, who knows? But it's not looking bad. So I'm next gonna go in and just do some mascara. I wanna keep this look super simple and natural. I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I have that mascara on. I want to finish the top of my eyes by doing my brow highlight. So I'm going to take the color Veil, which is just a really nice pale gold color, and I'm going to apply that underneath my brows using a little short shader brush from Sigma. And I'm also going to use that as my inner corner highlight. The one thing I will say is I don't really think that these shadows work well with brushes. This color I thought would be really blinding. It's very light, especially on my skin tone. I thought that it would pop. Um, but it really doesn't show up that well when I use a brush. So maybe using a little bit of fixing mist or just using your fingers is the best way to use these shadows. I wanna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna do something super basic on the bottom. I'm just gonna smoke it out with a little bit of the, let's do this brown color here that I used for my brows. So I finished this other eye off camera. This is the eye makeup done. Super natural, super simple, and I think that it goes along really well with this palette and what it stands for. Next, I'm gonna move on to blush. I really just wanna mix all three of these colors. That's what it looks like on the brush, so it does look very pigmented. I'm gonna tap away the excess, and let's just apply this just on the apples. Now, when she was applying her blush and when she was talking about it, she said that it had a sheen to it. So you do sort of glow with it, but it isn't a glittery or sparkly kind of glow. It's a glow from within. I gotta say, I do like this blush. I think it's really cute, really girly, but it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't look too glowy. It has a nice sheen. I like this. I don't really like blush, but I like this. The next thing I'm gonna do is do a quick little nose contour. Chloe mentioned that she used the taupe shade to do her nose contour, so I was like, you know what, let me just try that out as well. Ooh. So I next went in and used the shade Honeymoon, which is this one right here, for my nose highlight. and. Applying it on my finger onto my face made it super bright and super pigmented. So I think that's how I'm gonna try to apply it onto my cheekbones as well. So that's the glow with my finger. I'm going to try to spritz a brush and see how it applies that way. As far as the highlight goes, I do think it applies better when you use it with a wet brush. I feel like it makes it a little bit more creamier and makes it look less like just kind of glitter on your face. I really like this color as a little highlight shade though because it is very glowy, but it's on my skin tone. It doesn't show up too much to where it's like crazy. If you're one of those people that like loves a blinding highlighter, this probably isn't your thing, but if you want that glow from within highlight, 
this is definitely your palette she also came out with a little lip gloss which i want to try next so this is in the shade cake so it's like wedding cake is what she said when i watched the tutorial that she did on pixie's channel she used the color bitten rose underneath which is a lipstick that pixie has which is sort of like a it's a little bit of like a deep red and i just so happened to have this color so i thought perfect let me try out the gloss with this color on my lips because you know i'm a different shade than her so i really want to see how it looks but i think that you can also use this gloss on its own if you're into that look as well so i'm gonna line my lips first and i'm just gonna use my rimmel lip pencil in the color wine so i'm gonna take this just in the corners of my mouth just to give it a little bit more dimension The lip pencil is a little bit darker than my lipstick itself. The lipstick applied a lot redder than I thought it would, so I just want to make sure that I don't look like a chola, so I'm going to blend that out. That lipstick has like a satiny finish, so it's really creamy. And I'm just going to apply this gloss on top, if you guys can see. You can see the glitter that's in the lip gloss itself. So I applied another coat just so you guys could see it a little bit better. It does not feel sticky whatsoever. It is very creamy. That's what I like about Pixie lip products is that they're very creamy on your lips. I have used more of their lip glosses and I love their lip glosses because they are so creamy and they look so cute on. This one's really nice because it does have those gold reflex and it kind of picks up on the color that you put as your base. Alrighty guys, so this is my completed look using the Chloe Morello Pixie Palette and the Cake Lip Gloss that is also in her collaboration. Like I have said many times throughout the video, I definitely think that this palette is more on the natural side, more of a glow from within kind of thing, um, and definitely good for people who um, like more natural looks and who like really quick makeup looks maybe not anything too dramatic i think that you can go dramatic with this look because it does have the black it does have the brown so you could do a smoky eye if you really really wanted to but just looking at all the sparkle shades i feel like it's more of just like a daytime maybe maybe everyday kind of look i was able to use these shades to do my brows my liner nose contour i did highlight with the sparkle shades use the blush shades so it is really multi-purpose like she intended it to be and it actually works multi-purposely would i recommend it definitely for people who are looking for that natural palette and that glow from within i do think that this would be kind of good to travel with too if you don't want to bring too many products you have your brow product here your smoky liner you have your blushes you can do a little bit of contour with it i don't think you can do like a full face contour but definitely a nose contour and then you have your highlight shades or your eyeshadow shades so it is definitely perfect for like more of a natural everyday girl the lip gloss is cute i don't know the price on this one it's definitely really creamy doesn't feel sticky whatsoever and if you're looking for like a cute little like glittery gold lip gloss that kind of like adds those reflex i feel like it's perfect so i had a lot of fun doing this tutorial review video for you guys i do have two more coming with the dulce candy collaboration and with wiley's collaboration wiley wiley so i am very excited to film those as well i hope that you guys enjoyed this video as always please don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day